Steve Burns, Amp Electric Vehicles is a microcap stock, but it's a very cool story. Tell me about your electric green vehicles. Good. We, uh, we bought the largest maker of UPS trucks. We bought a company called Workhorse from Navistar, and it made gas, gas trucks. And we decided to reinvent that and turn them into electric. So we were built kind of on a, a solid rock foundation chassis that's been around a long time. Actually started way back with GM and from the factory. So we didn't want to do a conversion. So from the factory, we make an all-electric delivery truck. And you put drones on top of it to yeah. deliver packages. Yeah. That's some amazing stuff. Talk yeah. about the Horsefly. Okay. The Horsefly is a delivery drone that integrates. It's an option. So it doesn't have to, you don't have to buy it if you're a fleet owner. But if you uh, have the potential to deliver a lot of packages and you're very tight on time or you're just trying to get your cost down, um, imagine that you've got one delivery this way and four this way. Right? So you hand the one to the drone. It takes off, goes that way. You go ahead and do your four. The drone will catch up to you, land on top, and off you go. And when it lands on top, it recharges itself. So it basically, you know, mile hop maybe, not coming from a centralized warehouse where you're trying to fly 30 miles. So who is using this right now? It seems like it will be the perfect uh, type of, of truck. I was going to say van, the perfect type of truck with the drone for, for UPS. Are they looking at it? Uh, we've announced some with UPS. They, they, did, uh, they bought 18 that are going down to Houston, but not with the drone on top. The drone is still, the Horsefly drone, uh, the FAA does not approve it yet. So the FAA is creeping that way. You know, uh, there's been a lot of attention to the guidelines they just released. So we're working with the University of Cincinnati, and we are going to be ready when the FAA permits it. All right, speaking of governmental agencies, what about the post office? It seems as though the Postal Service would love these trucks because they're in the currently trying to replace their old fleet, gas guzzling fleet. Right. So they announced very publicly that they're going to replace like 180,000 of the small white trucks you see. And they're probably 25 years old, so it's time. They can justify the replacement probably just on the maintenance cost of the old ones. But when we went to the meeting, the vendor meeting, to talk about it, and we found out that their average route is 15 miles long, so very, very small, uh, we realized, and, and given the heavy stop and go, they'll stop six, 700 times a day at mailboxes. So really, there isn't a better application for an electric truck than the post office. And then finally, can your trucks outrace Elon Musk Tesla cars? <laughs> just Actually, I'm just kidding on that, but talk about the similarities between your electric vehicles and what's out in the market, whether it be the Volt or the Tesla, yeah. or even the, the hybrid Leaf. Yeah, well, we, we have two versions. We have, again, delivery vehicles, local delivery vehicles, that's what we decided to go for, because they, have a, they go a defined distance. You know, you're not worried about waiting for charger infrastructure to catch up. You're not sweating, running out of juice, and you might you got to find a charger. So we wanted something that comes back to the ranch every night, goes a defined distance. And the only thing that's kind of exceptional is once in a while a truck has to go much further. Let's say it's Christmas and the person's working until 8 o'clock at night delivering. So we do have the option of a little 25 horsepower generator that kicks on not while you're driving like a Volt, but while they're in making a delivery. So that gives them all the comforts. So it's the best of all words. You, you run on fuel, your main fuel is electricity, which is the least expensive. And once in a while, a couple times a year, something happens, you always have the comfort of this little generator. So it kind of bests of both worlds. All right. Well, it's a great little story. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thanks, Ray. And thank you for watching The Street.